Well, there's a couple other moments of the race I want to get your reaction to. Matthew, if you could play clip seven for us. Last lap of the 2529. I don't care. I don't know what the f lap time to me. Don't tell me on any four. Yeah. Ten four. I don't know what a good lap is, so what the f kind of information is that, DJ? We talked about this for two decades. <laughs> good lap right there. <laughs> yeah. I guess DJ, you can say good lap if you want to, but I don't know what the lap time means. Here's the part you don't hear. Well, that's a good lap. That was a 23. About a tenth better than what you've been doing. Okay. Okay, lap. Nope, not giving him that one. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't give him that one. <laughs> That's on channel two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, TJ's not going to give him that one. Uh, yeah. yeah, tell us about that. I mean, all right, so you, TJ has the lap times from all the cars on the racetrack, right? And he's watching the leader, and maybe the leader runs a, 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 a 23-20. He sees me run a twenty three twenty, and he goes, "Hey, twenty three twenty, good lap." And I'm like, "I don't know what the because I, I don't have that information that the leader's doing what I, I haven't I haven't all week long I haven't looked at a lap time. No practice, we no haven't qualifying. practiced, right. we haven't qualified. So you could say, "Hey, eighteen thirty, good lap." I'd be like, "Sure, eighteen thirty, physically impossible to run eighteen thirty around Richmond, but I wouldn't you wouldn't know wouldn't know it." Yeah. So when he says. That's a twenty three fifty. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? I, I mean, I don't know what it means, and so I, I I don't know what he wants me to do with that information. It doesn't help me at all, and he keeps doing it. We've talked about this for years. I'm like, don't tell me the lap times. I don't know what a good lap is. Yeah. Uh, listen, Just say good lap. This this is one of the other things that when when we heard this, it <laughs> felt like throwback weekend Vintage. right like it just felt Vintage. like oh we've got everything the complete yeah. package is back tj and dale are chirping at each other yeah. on the radio well i um you know you're in the you're in the car and the car is frustrating you and uh and <laughs> so tj's <laughs> gotta be careful what he says um i'm like uh just a just a you know i'm just a nudge away from like coming unhinged yeah. <laughs> in that moment, right? And so he said something that, like, I was like, Arr! like, he ought to know. It ought to be, he, he ought to, he's on top of the, he ought to know well, that he's given me information that I have no clue what to do with. I, the counter argument on that would be that he, that's like, hey, he, he, that's if he's used to other drivers spotting other drivers and they do like that information, then he, how do they know what a good lap is? Well, they he they, says on door bumper clear that they do like to know their lap times to keep it consistent because you were in a, a tough run there at that point in the thing. And he his I'm argument saying, on his, DBC was he it, wanted you to be able to hear the lap times so you can keep them consistent. They were having a good time laughing. I about can't it. keep them consistent. Yeah, I mean I'm just trying my damnedest just to get around the damn track. <laughs> hey, listen, I I love it. I I, I would want that to happen every time you race. That's that's fun. Say, and TJ hey. gets a little upset, but then he gets over it because you know it's yeah. a great life. <laughs> Well, um, do you have anything else you wanted to add to that? I don't. I mean, okay. I feel like I made my case pretty clear. I do not know what a good lap is, so telling me a lap time is not going to do shit. That's right. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what he wants me to do that. Uh, play clip eight, Matthew. Okay. That uh, drink bottle, man, that end sucks. I, I don't know why we changed it, but I can't get that probably to the damn helmet. It's so fucking big. <laughs> yeah, it's done for. <laughs> and you gotta turn it, twist it, pull it, but we used to just race for the damn cut off in. That was good enough. All you missed was bop it and you had a child's toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna injure myself with that thing. <laughs> so Alright, so this is funny as hell. I forgot about this. So we get in I get in the car and uh so okay, when I started racing the drink hose was a hose with the end it's just a hose right you stick in your mouth yeah. you start drinking if you didn't push the fluid back through the hose into the bag it would siphon all the fluid out all right so when you drank out of the bot when you drank out of the hose you had to siphon the flu you had to siphon all the all the water back into the bag or when you turned loose of the hose and got to driving again 
all the water would siphon out of the back. So that was the reason why they started putting ends uh, on the on the line. And the end, you would bite it to open it. Like an inflatable pool, kind of? So what? Like the air on an inflatable pool? What are you talking about? Like you have to bite it to get the liquid? So the yeah you you see them I think I think that's sort of the technology behind yeah. it or the engineering behind it is that you got to bite it to open up the yeah thing. so they they started putting ends on the lines that you would bite to be able to open and release get the fluid yeah and so that was good okay gonna put an end on it all right you guys you know you're worried about siphoning out this water or whatever um, it, some drivers went to an electric pump to push a button that would pump the fluid into their mouth. Uh, it's, it's, there's all kinds of technology with this drinking of fluids during the race. The last thing that I used was the end that you physically put in your mouth and you bite. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's fine. And that, that end, you don't have to siphon the water back into the bag. You just bite, drink, and you're done. But the water gets hot in the line, uh, while you're racing to, and when you drink it again, you get a lot of hot water. Well, until you get cold water from the bag. But anyways, anyways, anyways. The line, I get in the car, and the end looks familiar, looks similar to what I had, but it's this big, long, bulky plastic thing. It's about three inches long. And shoving it up in between my my face, my microphone, and the end of my helmet, it could barely get in there. And I literally scratched my chin on this plastic yeah. piece that's on the end of this. It was comical. <laughs> and I put it, I'm, I'm still on pit road. We haven't pulled off pit road yet. So I'm, tr I'm trying to, I bite the end of the hose and open it up, start trying to drink, and I can't get any fluid. And uh, there's nothing, I mean, there, it's, it's siphoned shut like the line is pinched. And I said, guys, the line's pinched. There's a tie wrap somewhere in this line that's got it pinched shut, or there's a kink in the line. So they're back in the back of the car, diving into the passenger side, trying to fix this line. Some guy walks over to the window and goes, uh, you got to pull pull the end. Like a bottle. Oh, like yeah. Like a drink bottle. Like to open it up. Yep. You got to so, pull it. And he's doing it with, I can't hear him, he's doing it with hand motion. So he grabs it and he pulls it and he shows me it pulls open. And I'm like, well, what the hell? Okay. That would have been nice information. Yeah. So I, I, now I got, now get, back, get back up in there. I'm like hell with this, and so, and then middle middle of the race, I'm trying to drink, and I'm like, what in the hell? I, we used to just have a line with that just cut the hand. I just if I had a pair of ten snips, I'd have cut that damn yeah, end I'd off, drink the damn water, and just drink the damn water. <laughs> I couldn't even get any water, and so I don't know. That was funny. That's good. Uh, that's a good explanation. I would have never known yeah. that. Um, Matthew, actually, uh, we'll be quick here. Go to clip ten. I want. I don't want to rehash the speeding penalty. Just for, you know, just to mess with Dale. I do want him to explain to us what he's talking about here. So, like, if you start it yeah. about halfway through, um, Dale, you're talking about lights and this, that, and the yeah, other, yeah, yeah. and and I just love to hear you know what you're talking about there. Thirty-one's got a half tire half with a run. This <laughs> is not very good on Bennett too. He's up against the wall. Up against the wall. Perfect. Stay low there. Make sure he doesn't roll down. He's staying up. He's rolling. Watch him. Come on by. Come on by. Come on by. Perfect. Okay. All right, Cook. Get him on the back in Greece. Hopefully, the good thing we don't have more laps to run too long because this thing is not very good on the long run. Oh, that was a mess. I copy that. I'm going to give you a little more what I gave you last time for fire off and put these tires on it. Okay. Open next time. We're going to pit for sure this time. All right, pitting at the line. Do not speed. Three, two, one. Don't speed. Coming to you, Taylor. Ten away. Pull in. Wheel straight. Foot on the brakes. All the way, all the way, all the way. Clear to, to the wall. Three reds. Three reds. Three reds. Three reds. And five, but don't hit. Two back to the next one. One back outside now. I can't hear you, buddy. You're broken up. I think we sped. All right, I don't know how, but sure. Lights on this dasher just all over the place. Four reds, zero reds, just hard to stay consistent. I saw four reds, I tried to get it back. Yeah, it's all good, I'm looking at it now. Try to figure it out for you. 
Yeah, Section 8's kind of like the middle of pit road there, right about start finish line. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was, I was all over the place. Four reds, six reds, zero reds, greens, all kinds of shit happening. Devil, all good elbows up, we'll just go to the front from here. Yep. So yeah, just it's pretty simple. The the dash gate, uh, the 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 RPM tachometer has lights on it, and they'll they'll uh, it's one green, two green, three green, and the more you increase the RPMs, the more green lights you see. They then all once you get to pit road speed, uh, they dis- the green ones will be gone. And those green ones now turn red. Mm-hmm. One red, two red, three red, four red. This is all preference, but Taylor and the guys set pit road speed for three red bo- three red lights. So what I need to do is to boot, do my best on pit road, light up three lights and stay there. All the way down perfectly. In a perfect world, you'd go down pit road and have three... Uh, red lights on the on the tack, right? But the car's bucking. The car's, you know, the the other. There's things happening. The you know, it's impossible to be perfect down pit road. Now you can be good, really good. But uh, having not been in a car much, uh, the car's kind of bucking down pit road in second gear. Um, and the and so I would if I saw four reds, which is too fast. I'd lift, and all the reds would disappear, and it'd light up all the green lights. Now I'm way under. I'd gas it up. Six reds. Well, oh, too fast. Gotcha. You know, so you're kind of like, uh, you know, like an accordion. So it was a mess. Um, I don't know what my pit road speed was earlier in the race, but on that particular stop, I just goofed up. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I don't even know why I was trying to be aggressive or why I was even pushing it so close, but uh, that hurt us. That really give us uh, that put us kind kind of in the back and where we got banged around like pinball. All right, guys, I know a little bit about cars, so believe me when I tell you that Tire Pros they're the real deal. They've got great people, great service, and they can take care of all your automotive maintenance needs. Plus, they're a sponsor of this show, so you know they got great taste in podcasts. So check out Tire Pros. Follow them on Facebook and tell them that I sent you.